as these end time signs continue to happen more frequently, we go to Matthew 24, which he said you'll hear of wars and rumors of wars. And this is what we continue to see. God bless you all. Houthi rebels firing upon the USS Mason after that ship responded to a distress call from an Israeli-linked ship following what the Pentagon says was likely an attack by Somali pirates. That makes at least 73 attacks on U.S. forces since October 17th. Uh, former Defense Secretary Mark Esper will be joining us on whether the U.S. needs to take stronger action against these Iranian proxies. But first, Chief National Cor uh, C Security Correspondent Jennifer Griffin is live reporting at the Pentagon for us at this hour. Jennifer, what do we, exactly do we know happened here? Well, Sandra, we broke the story last night that after rescuing the Israeli tanker from five armed hijackers, the USS Mason tracked two ballistic missiles fired toward the U.S. Navy destroyer by Houthi forces in Yemen. Both missiles fell short, splashing down 10 nautical miles from the Mason into the Gulf of Aden. This is viewed as a significant escalation in Houthi threats to U.S. Navy vessels, according to multiple U.S. Navy sources. In 2016, the same, ve the same uh, Navy warship, the USS Mason, found itself in a similar situation off the coast of Yemen and took the unusual step of firing an SM-2 missile to defend itself and the USS Ponce against Houthi crew missiles. That was the first time SM-2 missile defense use was used by a warship in combat. On Sunday, Navy personnel on board the USS Mason responded to a distress call from an Israeli tanker named Central Park. Five armed gunmen seized the tanker after boarding from a skiff by pulling up alongside the tanker, which I'm told had a low freeboard, which gave the hijackers easy access. Initial indications show the five individuals were Somali pirates, but it's not clear who sent them. The crew had locked themselves in the Citadel safe room. The gunmen tried to beat down the door to the safe room and then exited the ship and were making their way back to the shores of Yemen when the U.S. Navy personnel pursued and arrested them. Warning shots were fired by the U.S. Navy personnel and a U.S. helicopter gunship flew cover. The hijackers are now being held on the USS Mason, being questioned by the U.S. military under counter piracy authorities. A Japanese Navy destroyer also assisted the USS Mason with the interdiction. Three Chinese Navy warships, however, were in the area but did not render assistance.